I'm announcing that Common Sense Conservatives will put forward a non-confidence motion at the earliest possible opportunity. And I'm asking Jagmeet Singh and the NDP to commit unequivocally before Monday's by-elections. Will they vote non-confidence to bring down the costly coalition and trigger a carbon tax election? Or will Jagmeet Singh sell out Canadians again? Which will it be? It's put up or shut up time for the NDP. There will be a carbon tax election, and in it, Canadians will decide whether they keep the NDP Liberals in power to tax your food, punish your work, double your housing cost, unleash crime, chaos, drugs, and disorder on our streets. Will they vote for a 61 cent a litre carbon tax? Or will they elect a common sense conservative government that will ax the tax, build the homes, fix the budget, and stop the crime? And we need to bring them down now because otherwise carbon tax Carney's agenda will predominate. We found out that there's a new fa phantom finance minister. Now they have a lame duck minister right now who Trudeau is pushing aside, just like he pushed aside other female ministers. And he's bringing in carbon tax Carney, uh, someone who uh, has too many conflicts to hold the real position. But Trudeau said he offered uh, carbon tax Carney the real job. But that, that, that caused a dilemma. Would carbon tax Carney pick power or money? And he said, I know, I'll have both. He keeps the money with his uh, chairmanship of a large multinational corporation that's moving investment to China that buys pipelines in Latin America and the Middle East while he opposes them here in Canada. He gets to push his radical Davos agenda of you will own nothing and be happy, while at the same time, he doesn't have to respect any of the contra conflict of interest laws. He doesn't have to have his interests and his investments exposed online like the rest of us. He gets all the power and all the money and none of the accountability. And my worry is that he's going to push for a higher carbon tax. And we know that because when Trudeau relented under my pressure and paused the carbon tax on home heating for oil heated homes, carbon tax Carney st stood up and said, no, there should be a tax on home heating right now. In other words, carbon tax Carney believes the tax doesn't go far enough. I have quotes from his book here. And I, I raise this with you because he was trying to weasel out and keep his position secret in yesterday's press conference. Here's what he said in his book. The Canadian federal carbon pricing framework is a model for others. One of the most important initiatives is carbon pricing. The best approach is revenue neutral progressive carbon tax. These are among the reasons why people are starting to know him as carbon tax Carmi. There we go, even a nice little uh, horn to mark the occasion. Carbon Tax Carney, it's now official. That is his name. And he has a radical agenda. My message to Carbon Tax Carney is come in from out of the shadows. We don't need a phantom finance minister. If you are going to be pulling the strings, you should be on the floor of the House of Commons with your massive financial interests and your foreign interests disclosed to Canadians. Stop pushing to kill Canadian jobs while you ship the jobs abroad. Make your carbon tax agenda known and be held accountable for Canadians so that we can choose in the carbon tax election.